Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and a massive happy Boxing Day to you. I hope you are having a wonderful festive season and today we're just taking a quick look at the Maca Toon pack. This is a new pack released by Reillusion, it's called The Dudes and you know it's phenomenal guys. If you're talking about creating Pixar style characters, this is a pack that you're going to want to look at because you're going to save yourself hours upon hours of time and you're going to get phenomenal results. So we're just going to load up the pack here and as you can see we've got a few evaders in there We've got some sliders so we can adjust all the sliders and you know We've got a few different kind of presets and some clothes. So it's really cool We get quite a lot of stuff in this pack So I'm just going to load up one of the characters here so we can see we've got our character here really cool looking and you know really does out of the box look like a Pixar creation and what we're going to do is we're just going to select our character and I'm just going to remove some of these assets that are on the character and we're going to take off the eyebrows because uh, what we're going to do is we're really going to aim to make this our own and I'm going to keep it as quick as possible just to show you guys how we can do that so we're going to go into our actor tab and in the eye tab, we're going to look for a different set of eyes that we can use. I've got some cool eyes here. They're the RM3D eyes, uh, the Toon variants. You can pick these up on the Reillusion store as well. I'm just going to select a pair and see how they suit our character. We'll change the material only for now. And already we can see they look really, really cool. Um, I'm going to go for a more darker shade, maybe the green eyes. So we'll change the material as well because they are a bit too close to his eyes. And this looks really cool, guys, as you can see. And, you know, there's about 70 different variants that we can use in here. All cool looking, really kind of exciting, different uh, shapes and different kind of looks. So these look pretty cool as well. So I'll use these. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to start to morph and shape this head and, you know, really get it looking like our own. So just click on that character and we're going to go to our headshot here. I'm going to activate the sculpt morph and we're going to start to tweak and really blend this. So let's start by the top of the head. I just want to bring that down a little bit. Now you can see it doesn't come down much. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to bake some of these textures. Now to bake them, we can just click on the part, go into the modifier tab here. And with the part selected, it usually should go onto the head. But you can see here, there's not many sliders, but we are allowed to bake. So if we hit bake, that should bake it. And then we should be able to bring it down more. As you can see there, we'll bake that again. And we'll just bring that down a bit more. So now we're just getting a different kind of shape to the head, a different look entirely, as you can see. And we're going to do the same for the chin here because it is quite a unique chin. So we want to get this really unrecognizable and just a little bit more different. His head looks like a bit of a gherkin or a banana, <laughs> a really cool character. Uh, by the way, you know, you can always use these characters and, you know, make some awesome, awesome projects with the base characters. But what we're going to do is we're going to, like I say, we're going to make this chin a lot smaller. So again, we're just going to need to use the bake function. We're going to need to keep baking this until we get it the right proportion. And when you're happy with that, you can then leave that and settle with it. So this looks kind of cool. So I'm just going to puff out these cheeks a little more. And we're going to bake. I'm going to puff them out again a little more. I'm going to show you how we can smooth all this as well without using ZBrush. Uh, there is a very uh, quick technique that I find quite useful in iClone. Uh, so we're just going to bake that again. As you can see, the face is changing its shape now. We're kind of getting a unique look, our own unique face shape. And I'm pretty kind of happy with how that's going. We can adjust up here on the eyes. And you can start to see the mesh is changing a bit and it's not looking as close to the original as it was before. And we're just gonna bake that. And now what we can do is we can start to smooth it out. I'm just gonna deactivate this for now. And I'm gonna show you how we can smooth this because there is some little things going on, some little jaggedy edges and stuff as you can see around here. But this is a really quick fix, guys, and you don't have to go into ZBrush to do this. What we can do is we can just edit the mesh here in the Modify tab, we'll edit mesh, and then we can go to Sculpt. Now this allows us to actually sculpt and smoothen it out. We've got five different, four different keys here. Uh, we're gonna use these three. So we're gonna click on this one here, which is smooth. And we're just gonna change the strength a little bit and the radius. And I'm gonna use mirror so it does it on both sides of the mesh. And then we're just gonna hold down and brush over. And you can see it's smoothing it out 
really well. You can see that's really smoothing in around the jawline and the chin. And you know, we're just gonna smoothen that out a little bit and we'll turn that off and see the results. So let me just turn the morphs off. Now you can see a lot smoother around the face. We've got a much different facial structure already going. Now, of course, we can still tweak things. There's still quite a bit of tweaking needed. So we'll go back into the edit mesh go back into our sculpt and we'll start to smoothen under the jaw as well here and we're just going to smoothen the chin there you can see there it's kind of poking through just smoothing that out until it looks nice and smooth and then we'll just turn that off and just check the results okay so we can see that's looking a lot more smoother here's a bit of an issue here but we're going to adjust that again in the headshot morph panel we're just going to click on our chin here and it's just a case of maybe widening that out a little and we can bake that again. So all in all, very quick process, guys. I'm doing this in real time as I'm talking with you. And it is a really, really quick process. As you can see, I'm going to edit the mesh again. We're just going to smooth in the bottom of that chin out, sculpt that a little bit, just to get that looking really kind of perfect. We can reduce the radius a bit here. And we're just going to sculpt. OK, so I wasn't on the smooth. So we just want to go on the smooth tab. And we're just going to smooth in this little area out here and get that looking nice and smooth. And you know, all of these little fine tweaks are overall what are gonna give you the best results. Now you can see here, it does look a lot more smooth and a lot more refined. And we've got a kind of entirely different head completely. So I'm happy with that. We're just gonna now adjust the nose and the lips and you'll start to see the character really come to life and you know how unique that is and we'll do a before and after so we can really look at the kind of befores and the afters of the characters and you'll just see how far we've come so again here we're going to need to use the bake feature so we're just going to go into our morphs here and we're just going to bake because uh, when we reach a certain point it doesn't allow us to go no more so we just need to bake and then we can extend even further so we're just gonna shorten this nose a little, just to make it look different. We'll kind of raise this up a little bit. That looks really cool. We'll bake that just so we can raise that a little bit more. And then, so we can see a bit of the nostrils. Uh, and then we'll just push that in and we'll just bake that. So all I'm doing is just adjusting the nose. I'm not doing much. I've adjusted the face. We've got a whole different look. And we just wanna try and get this nose a bit back so it's a bit more flattened. So I'm trying to just flatten the nose now and flatten that in place. And that looks pretty cool to me. I'll just take that up a little bit more. Okay, so now that looks cool to me. And then we're gonna just go on to the lip section here and we're just gonna mess about with the lips here. And you know, really, really quick guys, something that will take you hours upon hours to mold in stuff like Maya and 3ds Max. It takes a matter of minutes in this software. It's really, really, really incredible. So we're just gonna bake the lips again and we're just gonna increase them a little bit more and just kind of push them in. So, you know, it's just fine tuning and just a little bit of tweaking and you're gonna get results that are just incredible, guys. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with that. I like how the lips are looking there. And you can see we've got a really different look going on now. So now what we do is we're just gonna add some hair, some eyebrows, and you know, you're really gonna see the character come to life and you know, right in front of your eyes. You've done that in about 10 minutes. It hasn't taken me long at all. That looks pretty cool for our character. And I really like that. I'm really liking, you know, how unique our character looks and how far he's come. So that looks amazing, guys. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to add a bit of facial hair just to kind of, you know, see how it looks and have a little bit of fun with our character over here. So we'll just try this one. But you can see um, these characters are CC3 plus bases already. So, you know, all of the all of the assets that come with our clone will apply directly to these characters without you having to convert them. So, you know, really, really cool out of the box how you can get some of these phenomenal, phenomenal results in a matter of minutes. I'm always blown away when I create characters. Uh, you know, look at this wonderful, wonderful character. And, um, you know, just to do a side-by-side -side comparison with our original, you can just see how far it's come. And that is why this tool is so incredible because I've done that in 10 minutes and, you know, the side by side comparison, you can see the two characters don't look anything alike. They've come such a long way from each other and you can do this and create unlimited variations. So, you know, there is no, you know, there is no limits. You can really 
go and push it to the kind of boundaries and get the best, best results. And you get an unlimited variation of characters, as you can see here. So I really hope the tutorial helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.